Well, hey everybody, I uh, went ahead then and pulled the rear end out and welded those uh, welded those spring perches all the way around. And we are ready to reinstall the spring so uh, and then attach the axle to it. So what I'm going to do is, um, you can see first of all what I did is I lifted up the rear end with the with the forklift and then what I did is um, I went ahead and got this all prepared. I also welded uh, some bracketry on the back just to um, support the frame a little bit better. I, you know, I talked about boxing the frame for strength. I just want to make sure it's going to be nice and strong. I mean, it's a 60 year old frame. We got to take care of it. And uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to raise up the uh, front brace and mount it right to the frame right there. You can see I've already got that primed and painted and ready to roll. And then um, I put the same backing plate on this side as I did on the other side. So we'll go ahead and bolt those in place and then we can put the U-bolts in place for the axle. So I'm going to set you guys down here so that it's not moving all over the place and hopefully you'll get a good view of what's going on. Um, essentially all I'm going to do is go ahead and lift this bad boy up and put it into position right there. And then on this side, I'm going to um, put in a, I got grade eight hardware here. I want to make sure I'm going to be nice and safe and you know, whoever's with me, obviously. And it's going to be a lot of family members and yeah, you got to keep everybody safe, man. It seems obvious, but it's amazing how many people just sort of slap dash things together. At least that's, I've seen too much of that. So, put that together like that. I'll do the same thing on the bottom. And then on the back side, again, some grade 8 washers back there. And get some of those guys on there. Which is always easier said than done. Especially when you're wearing gloves. And then... Nut on the back side there, and we are going to be in like flame. So we'll just tighten those down, and we'll be in good shape there. And then down here at the spring, we're going to go ahead and get that all put together in the next video. Okay, so here we are, and uh, I've got the spring perch the, the actual attachment to the frame that's all on the mount is there and that's all bolted down solid now it's time to do the final fit of the u-bolts that hold the rear axle in place so theoretically because we already had this together we just drop that bad boy right in there we'll do the same thing on the other side so just drop those right in place and um it is worth noting along the way here, and I probably should have said this earlier, but the fact is, you know, I'm not just sort of guessing at where the uh, rear end is sitting. I did make sure that everything is centered. I've got the same distance out from the middle to the edge and then from, from here to the, the wheel distance, you know, making sure that everything is in the right place. There's not a lot of guesswork going on here. We want to make sure we've got it all right. So now that I've got the bolts through, I'm going to put the plate in place and then it's got a centering hole which centers on the spring pack as well and then all you do as you might expect is just raise up the washer start your, your nuts on there and of course you got to make sure you get them started right because that makes all the difference in the world I usually like to tighten one most of the way up only because it holds that top plate in place. It's not a huge deal, but to me it just makes life a little easier. And there's already enough things out there to stress about. This is not need to be one of them. So I'm gonna just tighten that up. And once it gets close to being up against the plate, then I'll put the plate in its approximately final position. I'm gonna align it with the spring. There's a, a bolt pack that runs through the middle of the springs to make sure that everything is centered. And I'll just run 
that bad boy up, just like that. And that holds that stuff all in place, and that way now I can just run the other ones up and not have to worry about monkeying around with any of that stuff. Just makes it a little simpler. And uh, it really does work best to put both few bolts through first. You don't have to, but I just find that you're, you're not torquing stuff and tweaking stuff sideways. And um, I've seen guys actually bend these things around the axle as they pull down one side further than the other. And all kinds of crazy stuff. So I would just encourage you to be careful, be mindful of what you're doing, and you shouldn't have any real problems. Uh, there you go, guys. Good luck with your project. Hey, never, uh, by the way, never feel bad about sending us a picture. We'd love to see what you guys are working on. Have a great one. Hey,